Hi, it's Andy again, and today is a tutorial on how to communicate uh, between two separate fragments uh, the proper way. Um, and I'll show you why this is the proper way because it really gives you the full utility of the fragments. Um, and the way you do it is you have to communicate through the activity. So um, I'm going to show you first of what I'm talking about. So here's the um, we can write any text here. I'll just say hello and we'll send it. And here's another text view that displays that text. I can go back and say, welcome. And it changes the text. Now the way that this works is um, we have fragment one. We are going to, uh, I'll show you this. I'll, I'll go over this. This is the code that's sending the information to the activity. So first, you know, we just have a text view. Um, sorry, an edit text and a button. And uh, on the button click, we're going to send this text um, or get the text from the um, the edit text and send it to the activity. And the way that we do that is we use a, an interface. So the interface that we're going to use is on fragment send text you can name this whatever you want uh, but you do need to use an interface and then implement it in the activity so uh, this on fragment send text is defined here and uh, this is the method that we're going to use inside the um, the activity to receive the text and uh, this is just notebook constructor and uh, on attach we need to make sure that uh, the activity is actually implementing this uh, interface for it to communicate between the, the fragment and the activity. Uh, if not, it's going to throw us a ex uh, class cast exception and uh, tell us the reason why. So that's what this code is. It's just making sure that um, the activity has um, this interface implemented in it. And you'll see that here. So here's the, the activity. Uh, where the implements the fragment one dot on fragment send text and then uh, you can import the the uh, method automatically like you, it'll do all that for you and uh, we're expecting to receive a string now you can send whatever you want if you have an object you can send an object you can send integer anything you can pretty much send it to uh, between the fragments this way so you just have to define what you're sending. Uh, sending. So we're sending a text. It's just a simple basic form of this. And uh, what we're going to do is then after that, after we receive it, we need to send it to the second fragment, which is fragment two. Now, um, the reason why I'm showing you this this way is because um, you can have two different layouts, let's say, uh, for a landscape mode you have two the two fragments visible at the same time uh, but in portrait you replace one with the other and that's what this the initial setup is is uh, if it's in portrait we're just gonna have the one fragment but if it's in landscape uh, we're gonna have the two fragments and I'll show you what that uh, looks like on a tablet later and show you that it still works but the thing is you have to handle those two separately because uh, what we're doing here is, I, I, this is a tag, uh, I'm defining the tag up here uh, for fragment 2 when we create it. Um, uh, that fragment 2 has a tag of called fragment 2. Um, so we're going to find out the, the, find that tag of fragment 2. If it's visible, <clears throat> we just want to use a method in fragment 2 to, to, to update the text. So that's here, and um, all that is is set text. We're just going to update the text on um, on here. It's just a text view. We're just going to replace the blank text with uh, the text that we're sending from fragment one. So here's the text that we're sending from fragment one, and uh, we're just replacing placing fragment two with that text. Now, if it's not visible, then we need to bundle up the the text and send it to fragment two. Uh, so I know this is probably overkill to do it this way, but um, I've created a separate thread 
So uh, the most basic form of a separate thread uh, using an async task. And uh, the reason why I was doing this is because if I didn't do this, um, it's sending the, the text over and uh, the fragment hasn't been created yet. So you can, you can change it by doing like on activity created and then have all that stuff. But this is a good introduction on, on uh, basic uh, async task. Um, so we have another class called my task and it's an async task and all we're going to do in, in the background is receive that bundle and then once we've received it we're going to change the text that's all we're doing right now um, so what we need to do is we need to send that text in this bundle so it, fragment 2 is already ready to receive it so we need to bundle it up we'll get this text here we're going to put it in a, into this uh, string and then say we're going to set the arguments to that bundle. Replace the fragment that's visible because um, this fragment isn't currently visible. And then uh, we're going to, this method here uh, tells us to, to actually run the, the async task. And uh, then after we've, uh, we receive it, we need to update the the string now uh, this is important you have to do all the stuff that's not pertaining to UI in this doing background the doing background uh, method cannot do anything with uh, the user interface that's why you do something like this so if you have a long um, array of different data you're gonna want to um, use a uh, use a, a separate thread to receive it and then after it's done receiving it we're gonna then change the UI so that's done in this on post execute method so this is the most basic form of it you can do other stuff like while you're doing stuff in the background you can you know display um, a spinner with some text and then inside your uh, your uh, method that you're doing stuff send callbacks back to it. I'll show you how to do that in a later tutorial, but this is a basic one. It is overkill for this because it's a very quick operation that doesn't really need a separate thread, but we're doing it in this case um, so that, you know, we don't, we're receiving it without crashing the data or crashing the, the UI. So that's why I have this here. And afterwards, we're just going to uh, change the text. So let's show you what it looks like um, on a, on a tablet uh, because this is what's required for the, the portrait view in this case but oh sorry I picked the wrong one so let's open up a tablet launch a new emulator we're gonna do a tablet and it's gonna this will be the equivalent of a Nexus 10 type screen Okay. Okay, so here's fragment two, but fragment two is blank. There's nothing there. So um, what we're gonna do is we can write hello and it's gonna update fragment two. We can say, how's it, how's it going today? And it updates fragment two. And uh, that's actually done with uh, right here. So this is when when fragment 2 is present we're gonna use uh, this code. When it's not present we need to bundle it up and send it over and that's what this code is. So uh, I hope this is a pretty easy tutorial for you guys and if you have any questions please let me know. Alright, have a good day.